hello, um, welcome back, and I'd just like to say thank you for 50 subscribers, I finally made it, feels like I've come a long way, and, uh, just thank you. And I understand that this is an incredibly long video, feel free to skip through it, I know it's annoying, and trust me, when I put all, all the raw material together, it was over two hours long, which is crazy, so I really edited it down. And if I took any more out, it'd just be missing important parts, and everything should be there, really. So, um, yeah, this is my 50 subscriber special, and it is pretty special, so stay tuned. So, uh, I'm almost at 50 subscribers, and um, I said that uh, any suggestions in the comments would be well thought through, and maybe even done. And I had three people say I should do a uh, swim bait slash glide bait, and um, I thought I'd do that, but... Along with that, um, mom, my mom had the idea that I should make a lure of the first fish I ever caught, and that was a bluegill, and it was about this size, and I'm going to try to paint it like it. Like My other bluegills I painted, they were really bright and colorful, but the, um, actually in reality they're kind of, they're a little duller, so I'll show you a picture of that fish that I caught, of little me and my dad. what I'm gonna do for painting. I was gonna do a bunch of scales on this, but you know, I think the painted scales would look better. So I'm gonna just be really detailed. I'm gonna cut this out with a coping saw because it's good for fins and stuff. I'm gonna do, yeah, a whole bunch of stuff and I hope it ends up pretty awesome. So this is something special. So I'm gonna get to work on cutting this out with the coping saw. Here I go carefully cutting this out with the coping saw. Now this is fine. It's not also So I'm gonna go a little slower. Even. Wow. That's not used to it out but it needs some tuning like from this side it doesn't look quite as good so I'm just gonna take this knife and carve out a little bit and make it a little neater so yep it's pretty good Use okay, so now at this point, even though it's pretty early on, you do the fins. So you draw out, so from here I'm going to cut with this saw there and there, and chip out the chisel. And it's good to draw the lines. the shape of the body if the fins weren't there. Okay, so then you draw two lines.
Okay, and uh, I sanded those little the edges a little bit. Now it's time. And, oh, and uh, oh shoot, I didn't show that on camera. Darn it. Well, uh, I just got the joint, not all the way. But what I did was uh, I have these pieces of wood. There's another one, and uh, you line it up like that, and you put it in the vise, and then you clamp the saw between those two, and it gives it a good angle. You can see there. Yeah, that's what I did. Okay, and now I'm going to draw some carving lines. This is gonna be hard. What am I thinking? No, I have to do the top row file first. Okay, I'm getting ahead of myself. Top row file. Drawing it out. Also, sorry about that background sound. Not that thing. Yeah, so for me there's no real science to it. Now I'm going to carve that out. This is pretty difficult. Okay. So I'm using this knife now. So now I'm going to sand what I did smooth. Okay, sanded that way. Yep. Okay, now it's the time that I've been waiting for. Rounding off the beat. So I'm gonna make a little less there and wider there, and they're kind of teardrop shaped almost. Technically, still kind of starts there, so I'm not gonna draw past that. And this one really comes all the way up to this. There. That needs to come further. Okay, I'm gonna carve those out first, and then I'll do the bottom, bottom half. Trying to sink it. This part. Okay, and so I got it. Round it off that way, and I'm gonna work on this bottom part. I'm not gonna come out as quite as far. They're almost kind of a teardrop shape. Okay, and carving this out. And that, that, all these fins aren't going to be quite that thick, especially that one in the back, it's going to be thinner, I promise. I'm just keeping it chunky for now. Chunky probably wasn't the right word. But I'm now going to just sand this thing. I don't want any little divots or anything like that besides this. That's going to be impossible to sand up. So. And it's intentional, so why would I? Always ready to take the glove off. Just the sand in the paper stuff always looks like the glove. So I just poke some holes and I'm gonna work my way up. Oh, wrong way. That's good. Now work my way up. Got the eye sockets to the right size. It's not the eye I'm gonna use, but it's something. So gill patterns and they're really just one it's really just one plate so I am just gonna that's pretty simple but I have that little thing and I have this and it comes over so yeah let's get to work but I should also put on my glove okay but now you do this thing called scoring and that is where 
you follow your drawing with the blade of the knife. So when you're carving, you don't go past it and screw up your work. And there's a mouth, oh, a lick, I should say. Okay, so, got those scored. And then you take the blade, you follow along at an angle. So, I just carved out those gills, and now I'm going to file them down with some little files. Just right there. Gills are coming pretty smooth, they don't look too good, but you know, it's my job to diss myself. Okay. Gills, I'm just gonna go in there with some sand. <clears throat> I'm just gonna go in there with some sand. That's what I'm trying to say. There they are. Not too bad. I think I should start thinking about the lure form of this. Like, um, line tie, probably gonna be just under that. Another one is gonna be... I don't know. I don't know about lead hole though. That's the biggest thing. Because there's this here, which would be a good spot. So I normally want the lead to be closest to the joint, because if it's out here, it's, you know, it's like... I don't know. You want it to be closer if you want a better action, but I don't have all that much choice right now, so uh, I'm, I'm going to put a big one here and see as, get as much as there in there as I can. And this one, I think I might have to put one there, maybe there, but probably not, so I don't know. I'm going to think I have to think about that a little bit more, so. I've still got a uh, fin to carve out here. That's probably a little bit better. Now I just need to do that on the other side. Time for scoring. Carve them out. Looks. Whenever I try to do things, they always never come out all that great, but it's better than. I if I just painted it, that would have been easy.
so I've got that pretty much how I want it and now I'm gonna work on fins so I drew that there Oops. and now I'm just gonna draw a whole bunch of lines actually I'm, I'm gonna carve that out so it's at kind of a different level so yeah going back with this Now not enough to be able to have too many thin things, but I can have a few. I'll do this at first. I guess this tail is going to be this thick because it's not so late now. So I'm going through and doing the same thing on both sides. There those fins are. Looking pretty good. There's that. Scoring. There we go. Okay, so got those done. We're gonna do that fin now. What I like is how I always like how they kind of like, I don't know. Almost done. Just got this one to do. Okay, so this one I probably can't fit too many on. Probably three. Okay. Spin off those lines because they were not. File them down so they're pretty perfect. So, do coming along pretty nice with the detail. Um, now I don't really know what I'm gonna do about the lure parts of it because it's gonna be really hard and awkward to weigh in hook hangers. I can think of one spot, but I don't know about the other. So, um, I don't know. Uh, I'm going to sand those. Done as I can be with that. 
So now it's time to start working on the lead holes. So uh, I have two options. I could either get out the really loud Dremel or I could use this and make a big slot there and fit as many as I can in there. And maybe I could get one or two on this side. So I don't know. I'm going to try the chisel. If it doesn't work, I'll get out the Dremel. Okay, so I'm going to try this. That's gonna make something in the video. So what ended up happening was I chiseled out a big space and I fit six of these little non-lead drop, sh uh, not drop shots, but just sinkers into there. And I know it's just basically when it sinks, it's just going to go whoop if it sinks, but I think it's enough to be like this. Now the only thing is uh, this piece. It doesn't really have anything in it and I don't think I can get anything, but you know, when you retrieve it, it it'll even out. So I think that's going to have to be enough. I'm going to baking soda super glue that. And then I just need line ties, I need to seal it, and I need to cut the joint, I need to make all those joint connections. So I still got a lot of stuff to do. But right now, I'm going to baking soda and super glue all that right there. And I need something to lean this against, because now it's really pretty heavy. So after a while, it's ready. I'm baking soda, ink. I'm ready to drop the glue on. One, two, three. Focus the spot. Just finished and like I said that's all I'm gonna do besides a hook probably on the other half and that is looking pretty good this is for sure a sp uh, 50 subscriber special all right I'm gonna finish cutting that joint right now where's my saw whoa seriously where is my saw there it is I found it and I don't need to be all sophisticated again I can just do this I'm saying cheating I'm saying cheating Okay, now it is fully in half. That's pretty clean. But now I'm going to uh, now I'm going to uh, sand back this edge so it has more wiggle room. Because right now it's like, eh, well, a little, it was a little bit, but you just need to bring back this edge. So that's what I'm gonna do. I got really enthusiastic all of a sudden there. Oopsie. But I'm being careful not to get that edge. That edge is kind of important. So now, as you can see, there's a little more freedom, and then once you set it apart a little bit, it'll have a lot more. Actually, I'm going to bring that edge back more, because it didn't do all that much. Now I need to find a measuring tape thing, or ruler, and mark out the two spots, and then transfer them onto this, drill out the holes, make the connections, make the line ties, no hangers, seal the wood, now we're painting, and we're done! And this is my 50 subscriber special. A half a stitch, a fish head. Okay. Moving on. No. So what I have done is I have drawn and then poked out the holes, so now I need to drill them with a 16th inch drill bit. Well, so I couldn't find a good drill bit on 16th bit, but I have this one. It's not as nice as a little less quality. Let's use it. What else, please? I just ran out of battery. Four I think I was on this one. There we go. That works 
just fine. Now I need to make the connections and I'll show you how to do that here. Start off with, off, uh, to start off with, this is the wire I use, 0 0.032 something, gauge, things called gauge. And that is the brand, and I got it off of Amazon. Or if you go to one of Marling Bates videos, uh, in his description, he has his own Amazon store where you can, that's where I got most of my tools. So if you want to start, that's where to go. So yeah, what you do is you cut a bunch of lengths of this wire. You take your drill bit out of your drill. You fold your wire just roughly in half. You're just trying to, yeah, something like that. And then you put that inside your drill bit. It can be a little difficult sometimes. Pick it up, and then you have something oh, that you like in your device, and then you pick it up. Oh, not like that. You release it, and so that is like gonna be like like gonna be like our line tie or something. Yeah, just like that. So I'm gonna make three of these for the line tie to hook hangers. Then I'll show you how to make the connections. How you make the connections is you put this in the vise, and then well, you need you need four wires to start. Uh, and you fold another one in half. Put it on that. Open this up a little bit, if that's too much. I'm not too professional with this. I don't do connections too often. Okay, here we go. So then, you pull, and you click. And you can make them pretty much whatever size you like. I like mine pretty small. They work for this. So you can go really small, but I'm going to leave it at that, because this is a good size thing. I'll just do that the same for the other one. But that is how you make your connections. Connections. I'm gonna do that again. Night of the Super Bowl, so I can't stay up too late during this because I, I want to see it. But holy cow, I did it. That's pretty epic. This is just friction fit fitted together. That should swim pretty good. So I'm gonna install the line ties and hook hangers now, and uh, then it's time for sealing and painting. So it's probably as far as I'm gonna get tonight. But look at that. That looks pretty good. You have to admit. I'm pretty much just going to be copying the Marlin Bates How to Paint a Bluegill. Because, you know, that turned out really good, and, uh, yeah, I like the sound of that, so, yeah. Starting with a base coat of white. And then I'm pretty heavy with it, so. So now I am going in with a flesh tone. Here we go. Looks more like a brown. And now I'm doing a very small amount of pink in here. That, right? Okay, so I just mixed up a really dark green and I made a little stencil. So I am going to Carefully kind of stencil just a little bit of that on there. Okay, okay. okay. I finished doing that there, there, and on this one too. And I spray a little white over it. I should have done more there. It's dark. But yeah, so now I'm going to do some bars. I'm just gonna go like that, I'm gonna do gray, and I'm gonna do scales, and an orange belly is best last. And I'm going to do, uh, if you've watched my videos on my betta fish lure, uh, I sprayed at a sharp angle so only the tips of the scales got that color. I'm gonna do that with some black, so the scales have a little bit of black, but uh, also I'll do fertilized colors too, so yeah. I'm not too far from done except for I have to do gill still too, orange belly, uh, and I don't know what to do for fins, 
I might just make them all. I kind of like that greenish look there, so I might do something like that, but I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna do these bars now. Yeah. Okay. Put a couple drops in. I'm not gonna do too much. They're all bent. Okay, I'm gonna try that. That was pretty bad. I'm gonna go back over them with that flesh stone a little bit to dye them down, but uh, the other ones came out came out all right. And also after scales and stuff, I don't think it'll be too bad, but right now those are really in your face and annoying, so especially this one, I really messed up on that one. So I'm gonna go over that with some lighter, the base coat basically again. Okay, so I've got it in the scale mesh, and I'm going to hold it at a very heavy angle and spray just a little bit like this. Like the paper. I'll give it the other side, then I'll reveal. Actually, no. I need to do fertilize first on the other side. Now I'm coming up with some gold for this shoulder, but at the other angle. So this is the other half. This is my gold for first. Here we go. Okay. Now I'm going to get close to the belly with pearl white. Here I go. And it's right. That should be good. So to the side. Well done. Okay, I am revealing how this came out. Oh my gosh, that looks really good. wasn't expecting it to be that good. That looks just like the picture I was following. Except for now I just need an orange belly and some blue gills. Oh. And it worked on this side too. So the scale thing kind of worked. There's black and gold in, in that. Over here it looks black. Over here it looks gold. That's pretty great. Now I just need to recreate it onto this piece. Pretty awesome. Kidoki. Moving on. So I just finished the scales. That was pretty chaotic, but you know, I think it'll all work out in the end. This is some like uber natural. I don't know, I didn't go crazy clown like my last uh video I did. This one's pretty naturally, so I tried to do it really. So now I'm gonna work on finer details like putting some orange on the spins, on the belly, over here. And I think these two can be. Maybe I'm gonna do orange or I mean. I think I'm gonna do black. All the things are gonna be black because there's no real reason. Just, yeah. And then I'm gonna stencil up this and then I'm gonna paint that a different color so it stands out more. I'm gonna hand paint, actually, not hand paint that blue, but I'm gonna paint that blue. Put a little orange in there, maybe. Yeah, I don't know. It's gonna be cool though. Okay. Uh, so next I'm gonna give it that orange belly. I've been talking about this cold uh, pink. Pink. Here we go. On the, oh, I gotta do this one now. Stencil. Got the stencil lined up on the pin, and I'm gonna spray it orange. There's that. Make sure it's dry. I'm gonna give it that. Add a pearl white to those gills. Now I'm gonna add in some blue. Yeah. It needs to be pretty light blue, too, so. So what I did was I took pearlized blue and put that in there and hand painted some more pearlized white on there. I do not like how the spins came out, but there's nothing I can do. I don't know, it's feeling pretty good, but you know, it doesn't look all that great now. But I think it'll be okay once I add eyes and stuff. But I have one more little detail I wanted to do. Think about what color I should use. 
I want like an orangey yellow color. A pearlized coppery color. Some pink around the gills there a little bit, and now I'm finally doing my uh, black back. I'm gonna put this in the There it is. Um, I realized while editing that uh, I just kind of cut it off before I even finished, really. I was doing the black back and then, I, I don't know, well, I sprayed that and I got some red scales on the belly. I clear coated it and it looks actually really pretty good. Um, I wish I could test it out and see how it works, but I don't know if I can, so. Yeah, there it is. Pretty good. Bye. Welcome back, you made it to the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed, um, yeah, I had fun. Took a while, but yeah, I had fun. So, yeah, if you like more content like this, if if you thought this was okay, and this was only my 50, 50,000 subscriber special, just wait till I get to like my 100 or my 1,000 or something crazy like that. I'm gonna be out of this world, hopefully. So, yeah, stay tuned.